In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the Elevate UD Voice desktop app. So you want to open up your web browser and you want to go to udvoiceapps.unbounddigital.net in your web browser's address bar and press enter. This will load the page to where you can download the apps. At the very top, you can download the apps for PC or for Mac. In this case, we're going to download the app for the PC. We'll save the file. And then once it finishes downloading up here in the top right hand corner, we'll actually run the file to install the application and just follow the prompts. Now that we've downloaded the app, we'll double click the exe file that downloaded and we'll just have to follow the prompts here. So here I agree, install for only me, and you can just pretty much accept the defaults for each one of these options. Once the app has been installed, it will place a shortcut on your desktop, or you can also click the checkbox for run elevate UC and press finish. And this will launch the app for the first time. Now we just need to sign in. We'll sign in with our demo account. Once you get signed into the app, you'll see all the options on the screen. So with Elevate, we'll just do a general overview. You have your text messaging or instant messaging internally. You have your online meeting. So you can have your go to meeting or Zoom meeting style meetings right inside your Elevate app. You have your ShareSync, which is a file sharing software that you can share files throughout your organization. You have your missed call list. So you can see the missed calls, your voicemail list, and then of course your dial pad to dial phone numbers and to call out. We'll now go into a few options with the software. In the lower right hand corner where it has your initials, you can click this to go to your application settings to see profile, application settings, audio settings, voicemail settings, integrations, and about. We will go to application settings. Once the application settings load, it'll have application mode at the top of the screen. There is basically two ways that you can use this application. You can use it as a soft phone, to where if you have a headset connected to the computer that you can actually make and receive phone calls as a soft phone application on the desktop, or you can do call control. Call control works great for receptionist or for anybody that just wants to be able to click on numbers inside their uh, browser window or any software application to make phone calls automatically activate on their desktop phone. You can drop down where it says device and choose the device that you wish to make the calls on when you click the numbers, and then you can click save changes. This works especially as excellent for a receptionist. Also, if you're a receptionist, if you change the receptionist view, it will show all the company's contacts on the dial pad screen right here. That also helps a lot even for the normal everyday user as it helps see all the different options in the app. When you click that, you can see all the users if we had actual users in this application. Now we're going to go over how to make and receive calls. You'll click on the phone icon, or sometimes this looks like a non-key keypad icon, depending on which mode you have it set in. So we'll click on that. You can click on your company contacts and click on the little blue icon beside the contacts. Uh, you can click on personal contacts. If you have any contacts listed in here that you've added to your Elevate app, you can click on those to call. You can also click on the dial pad, type in the phone number with your non-key keypad on your keyboard, or you can actually dial the number by using the numbers here and press the send button. Now for receiving calls, when an actual caller calls in, you'll see on the screen at the bottom right hand side, a little pop-up window that you can click to pop up the Elevate app. You can also see if you have the Elevate app open that there's an answer button, send straight to voicemail or reject the phone call. In this case, we're going to answer the call by clicking the green button. Once you're in the call, you have the option to do mute Place the caller on hold, which is a live hold, which you can only pick back up on your own phone. You can have the dial pad pop open. Do call flip, which flips the caller from your desktop app to your mobile app. You can do call parking, which would place the caller on a hold that could be picked up on another line. Transfer to another Elevate user or to another user outside the organization by dialing their phone number. You can add another call into this call as a conference call, or you can end the call. 
Now we're going to go over how to do an intended or a warm transfer. With the collar already on the line, as you can see here, we'll go up and press the transfer button. At this time, you could transfer to an internal extension by dialing the internal extension, or you can transfer to an external number as well. And then you will click the warm button once you enter the extension number or the external number. Once the caller answers on the other line, you will be able to talk to them and tell them anything about the call that you have on the line. And then once you actually want to transfer them totally, you'll actually come up and press the transfer button, which says complete transfer one more time to connect the callers. Once that is clicked, the callers are now connected and they can talk to each other. Now we'll go over blind transfer, which is a type of transfer that will send the call to the caller's extension or outside number, and you don't have to actually talk to them. It will just ring. If they don't answer, it'll go to their voicemail. So with the caller on the line, we'll hit the transfer button, and we'll dial the number or the extension number that we wish to transfer. And then we'll click blind. The call is now transferred to the external or internal extension number. There again, it will ring. If they don't answer, it will go to their voicemail. So it just blindly transfers the call. Now we'll go over how to do a conference call with the Elevate desktop app on UD Voice. With a live caller already on the phone, we'll click Add Call. And you can dial the extension number internally or an external number if you wish. Once you dial the number, you can click the Send button. And once that caller answers, You'll have that caller on the line, and you just click Merge Call. Once you click Merge Calls, both calls are joined together within a three-way conference call. With the Call Parking feature, you can actually park a call on an extension that can be picked up on another phone in your organization. In order to do that, with a live caller already on the cell phone app, you can click the P or Park button. Call parked on extension 980. You can see the announced that it is on extension 980. So you can intercom another extension or tell somebody to pick up the caller on extension 980. To pick it up on their extension, they would simply dial 980 and click the send button, and they would have the live caller back on the line again. The desktop app has a feature called Call Flip. This allows you to flip the call from your desktop app to your mobile app in case you need to walk out the door or go roam around your office to answer a question for your customer. So to simply do this, you click the flip button right here with the live call already on the line. This will flip the app caller over to your mobile app where you can answer it. The caller will hear a brief hold music until you answer the phone, and then you can pick it back up on your smartphone app. In the Elevate desktop app, you can see the call history by clicking on the little time icon on the left-hand side. There will be a blue bubble that will indicate how many missed calls that you have there. Once you click that, you can see the calls history here. You can click SMS to text message them back or the phone icon to call them back at any point in time. This shows you all the calls as indicated at the top, or you can go to just missed calls and see the calls that you've missed. To check your voicemail on the Elevate desktop app with UD Voice, simply go over to the left-hand side to the voicemail icon. You can see it's indicated with a blue bubble that there is a one missed voicemail. If you click on that, you'll see that it's highlighted in bold that the one that we have not looked at yet. We'll click on that one. And over on the right-hand side, you can play the voicemail. You can read the transcription. You can click SMS to text message the person back or click the phone icon to make the call back to them. At any time you can mark them as read or simply click the delete button at the bottom to delete the voicemail and hit delete one more time to confirm. Now that voicemail message is gone. To change any of your voicemail messages uh, options go to the lower left hand corner to your initials or your icon. Click that. Click on voicemail settings. This will display your voicemail's pin number. You can change your default greeting. Choose whether you want transcriptions for voicemails, and also change the email address that your voicemail goes to. You also have the option to attach the MP3 file so that you can listen to the voicemail's audio file as well. And then, of course, you can save changes once that's done. I'll now go over how to change the audio options in the UD Voice Elevate app. 
If you go to the lower left hand corner and click on your initials or the round icon and click on audio settings in the menu, the speaker will actually be where the audio comes out of for the audio during the phone calls. So right now we have it set on the wrong audio output source. So we need to change that to our USB Jabra headset. So we'll drop this down and change it to our Jabra UC Voice 550. This will allow us to hear the audio over the headset properly. The same is true for the microphone. You can choose different microphone sources on your Elevate app so that the Jabra can also be your microphone for this application and save changes. And now your audio will work properly. Inside the app, you can also do text messaging or SMS, as long with internal messaging, like instant messaging inside your organization. If you click on the message icon on the top left here, you can see we have a couple of text messages already. So you can actually click on this text message and see what's actually been typed before. Message back by typing and hitting send. You even have emoji icons that you can use, or you can call the caller from up here. If you wish to message internal, you can do the same thing by clicking the plus and do new chat. With new chat, you can pick your internal contacts to actually instant message, or you can do a group message with multiple contacts. You can also add new contacts to the system by clicking new contact. If you have a lot of text messages or chats, you can actually click in the search box and search and find the one that you're looking for. Each user in the UD Voice platform comes with an online meeting license. So you can actually go to the little camera icon inside the Elevate Desktop app, and you can host meetings just like you do in Zoom or GoToMeeting. You can customize your meeting URL to send out an email to people by clicking the little pencil icon and edit the URL to whatever you wish. And then now they can go to gomeet.com slash meet1234 as your custom URL. It will give you also a phone number and PIN number for them to join the meeting. You can copy this info with the little copy button or you can send via email to a client or colleague to do an online meeting. Once you're ready to do the meeting at your scheduled time, you can click Start Meeting. It will automatically dial into the meeting, and then you can have the meeting just like any other online meeting. With the UD Voice Elevate platform, it also comes with an online file syncing program called ShareSync. This works a lot like Dropbox or Google Drive. You can click on the folder icon on the left-hand side, and see the files that we have dropped into our ShareSync folders. With ShareSync, you can get links to send to files to a colleague to share those files across an email or a chat. You can click the three little dots to do all kinds of other options, such as download, see previous versions, lock the file from being deleted, copy, move, rename, delete, and restore a previous version. If you want to view the files, you can just double click the file and it will actually load the file up. In this case, it's a picture of a Yaylink cordless phone base. There's a little X in the top right hand corner to close that. And then with ShareSync, you can also back up your documents, pictures, music, or any of that stuff on your workstation to this. Each user by default gets two gigabytes of storage. And with ever, however many users you have in your organization, that storage is pulled between all users. So if there's 10 users, that would be 20 gigabytes of storage for your whole company to share. Now for some advanced features or integrations of the UD Voice Elevate app. If you click either initials or the round icon in the lower left hand corner, you can go to integrations. Integrations allows you to click the checkbox for each one of these integrations. There's a Outlook integration. If you check that and hit save, it will actually install a extension inside of your Microsoft Outlook in order to click the call, click the chat, or view the presence of other Elevate contacts in your contacts within Outlook. This is extremely useful if you're using Outlook on a daily basis with your Elevate app. Also, there's CRM Screen Pops. CRM Screen Pops is basically a way to pop up the caller as they're calling in into your CRM. This works great with Salesforce, ServiceNow, Sugar CRM, Zendesk, Soho, and even has a custom option to do custom URL pops for different operations, such as different CRMs and other things. There's also a Elevate Chrome extension that you can download and install. This allows you to click to call any phone number that you see on any web page or start meetings from a Chrome browser. You can also sync your contacts from your mobile app to your Office 365, Outlook, or Google through the desktop and mobile apps.